What's up guys? We're in San Diego. We just got back from Austin yesterday and now we're here in San Diego. We drove down this afternoon and my dad is in town for a convention so we decided to drive down to see him. And so getting ready, gonna have a nice dinner and we decided to stay the night here at the Hard Rock Hotel in San Diego and we're gonna have fun tomorrow. Um, Zach used to live here and so maybe we'll go visit the beach where he has a very, very interesting story that I'm going to let him tell you tomorrow. But let's get ready for dinner. And then we're going to have Italian food tonight, which we never have for some reason. So yeah, let's go to dinner. It's actually been a really long time since I've been to San Diego, probably a decade. So my dad was in the Navy and we were stationed here in the late 80s, 89, 90. I think we left San Diego around 91. And um, I wanted to come back after high school. So I came back for a very short period of time because on my second day here, I had an accident. And I thought it would be really cool to learn to surf to the people that I was staying with while uh, I was apartment hunting. And yeah, like, I really want to learn to surf. Let's go to the beach. That'd be awesome. Sounds like a lot of fun. I said, okay, go out to the beach early in the morning, like 7 a.m. Get out there. I get in the water and I start walking out with the board. Like a big board. I had no idea how heavy it was or how hard it was to actually get out there. And so I'm just kind of winging it. I step down and I feel a slice on my foot. I pull my toe out. My toe is completely sliced in half um, horizontally across the top of my toe. And so I kind of like jiggle out to the sand and sit down and look at it and start to realize like how deeply my toe is cut. We walk over, they carry me kind of over to the little showers on the beach, look inside of it. I realized it's pretty bad. I'm definitely going to need stitches. So they take me to a nearby urgent care um, where they proceed to try to clean it out, which is really painful. Give me a couple of shots just in case it was metal. Um, but he has some suspicious, so he needs to send me to a, a foot doctor. So we have to go to a different part of San Diego, wait for this doctor, go in there. I'm laying down starts looking at my toe, moving around, tells me to wiggle my toe. And in my mind, I'm wiggling my toe. But in reality, nothing was happened because the tendon in my big toe was completely severed in half. Um, so I had to be scheduled for surgery the following day because it was too late in the day that day. Um, so I had to go home with my foot wrapped up or go back to their place rather with my foot wrapped up and just a giant gash on my foot, on my toe. Go in for surgery, so I have this little kind of lightning bolt shaped scar um, on my toe from where they had to cut down my toe, cut over into my foot and cut down to actually get the tendon and pull it back and reconnect that tendon. And um, yeah, so it was a lot of fun on my second day back in San Diego, which obviously kind of put a damper in my plans because I was just going to transfer with the restaurant that I was working with at the time start working immediately when I came out here and just, you know, kind of pick up where I left off, find a place, I already had a job lined up, ready to go, get out here, and then boom, that happens. So big change of plans and ended up going back to Maryland where I was at the time, moving back in with my parents, got my old job back and um, stayed there for another six months or so while I went through the rehabilitation. I used to walking again because I was in a a cast for like six weeks and then I was in a boot for a while then going to physical therapy and getting used to using the toe again and it still hurts from time to time it still makes me kind of like every once in a while it'll get a little sore and I'll walk with a limp but at least I have my toe there I have a cool scar on my foot um, yeah, but San Diego, that was the last time I was in San Diego, so I only ended up being here for maybe four or five days um, after that happened, just to kind of check up I, for the surgery, and then I went back and told the doctor one more time, 
and then I found a doctor in Maryland where I was to kind of take over the care after that happened. But this is my first time back, so I'm really exciting. Obviously, San Diego has changed so much over the last decade since I was here, and then in the 20, 27 years since I've actually lived here on a regular basis. Uh, it was very, very small at the time. But it's cool to see you, man. San Diego's, uh, it's cool. It, it's really close to Los Angeles, but it, it feels nothing like Los Angeles. Whereas LA is so busy and it just has a different energy about it. I'm not really sure how to describe it other than that. Where San Diego feels more like a town city, if that makes any sense, where people live. And, you know, kind of feels more like a family friendly city than Los Angeles. Downtown LA doesn't feel family friendly, uh, whereas being in the gas lamp district of San Diego and you got you're right by the beach, baseball stadiums right there, just feels like a more family friendly area. But we're gonna see. We're gonna go now and eat some delicious food and then see what we can get into tonight and tomorrow. And we'll see you later. Are you ready for more foods? I'm always ready for more food. Have My you... life is just consuming copious amounts of food. That's <laughs> all I want to do. I you... really want to expend it, but we'll see what kind of special treats that we have. What's the place called that we're going to? Um, we're going to Werewolf. Werewolf. Yes. Werewolf in San Diego. It had the highest reviews and the most reviews, so it looks pretty awesome. And yeah. I mean, Yelp definitely did us right last night for dinner. Left or right? To the right. It's definitely a huge difference between here. I mean, it is, what, Tuesday? Yeah. So it's pretty quiet, but I mean, walking through here and walking through New York is a complete 180. There's not a whole lot of people on the sidewalk. I mean, it's after 11 o'clock, so you would think people would be out, and there's some people, but it's uh, pretty tame. It's just quiet. I mean, it's a it's much quiet. smaller city. Even though San Diego is a pretty large city, mm -hmm. in terms of total metro area, compared to Los Angeles and New York and San Francisco, Yeah. it just feels much smaller. It feels smaller than Portland, though. I feel like more people walk around in Portland than they do here. Mm. Could be, yeah. It's cute though, I like it here. Very cute. short period of time. Short period of time and the story that he told you earlier, this is the spot. This is where it all went down. Yep. Actually right there by the pier. Right there. This is where I severed the tendon in my toe. Power one. Ouch. Ouch. And now we're but here. But at least you didn't lose your toe. It's still on your foot. You know? You're still pretty much a whole person. Yeah. You know, at least physically. So it's really nice outside. Yeah. Ocean Beach is a really mellow little place. It's not crazy packed. It's way more mellow than where we're at. 
than necessarily Santa Monica yeah. or Huntington Beach. Yeah. A place like that where a ton of people go. It doesn't feel as cold down here for some reason. Like it's windy, but in Venice and Santa Monica it's a cold wind. It feels a little bit warmer down here. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we're a little ways south. You can see Mexico from here. <laughs> Should we move to San Diego? It's a pretty dope spot. It's a cool place. San Diego. San Diego. I feel like there's a different energy in San Diego because it's almost like the hidden city of California. Like everybody talks about San Francisco and Silicon Valley and all the companies that are up there, you know, Google and Apple and Twitter and all those people. And then LA Everybody thinks of like Hollywood and celebrities and TMZ, yeah. the Lakers and the Clippers and all these sports teams that are there. And San Diego just kind of like is this cool little city hanging out in the very southern part of the state, really close to Mexico, a lot more mellow, a lot smaller than the other two cities, a lot less people, and it has just a more mellow energy. Aren't, I feel like people aren't trying to impress anybody. People are just hanging out, having a good time, living in their little houses, like just trying to live life and be happy. You know, and I'm trying, oh, look how big my house is, or look how fancy my car is. It's not like that down here. It doesn't feel as pretentious. No, not at all. It's expensive to live down here, but yeah. people seem to be. Yeah, that's the only downside. It seems to be just as expensive as LA, which is a real bummer. If this place was less expensive than Los Angeles, I'd be totally down to live here. Yeah. For sure. Me too. Dope spot. <laughs> you found this really random little spot on the beach when you walk down on the other side of the pier. There's all these rocks and... It's crazy. All the houses, your things like the slums of uh -huh. San Diego, but the slums are on the cliff overlooking the beach. Yeah. It's crazy. There's all these places that have like boarded up windows and graffiti, and they're all very run down looking. But I mean, the view is ridiculous. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. It's really surprising. Like no that. one's like really tried to fix those up and make them super nice. Yeah. Because you're right here by the water. They're coming in and swooping them up. And, I mean, maybe one day they will. That's pretty yeah, nice. Inevitably, they look, you know, one step away from being condemned. Yeah, well, there's definitely like, boards on the windows and stuff, so... It's crazy. Yeah. Because you're like, this is your view. It's nuts. Yeah. 